Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for January 8th through January 14th. This is a general reading. I will be doing a love reading in a moment once this one gets done. So I just want to let you guys know that this might not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest. I did pre-shuffle before I turned on the camera as well, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. Now this is intended to be a general reading. If love comes up, we'll talk about it. I will try to remember to focus this in. Um, there's some kind of lack of content here, okay? There's lack of content, lack of uh, feeling good, okay? Even though, you know, you may feel happiness on one aspect, maybe you're happy in one aspect of your life, there's some kind of ending here. There's an ending of an idea, ending of a thought, ending of a phase, okay? Which is kind of, this ending is kind of... Uh, disheartening okay there's a disheartening ending it's like something you didn't really wish for you didn't really want to end that's what it appears um yeah look at that holy shit okay <laughs> Okay, so this, yeah, so I don't know what this is, but there's a lack of creation right now. It's like there's no forward movement. Things are at a stalemate completely. There's like no forward movement. Things are like at a standstill. You may be going through a period of feeling isolated even. Maybe you're recuperating from something. Um, perhaps there's been some kind of... Uh, There's been some, something has happened, okay? Something has happened that, that is, that's changing something, whether you like it or not, okay? Something is changing, whether you like it or not. It's like you've tried not to let it change or make it change, but it's changing, okay? It's like somebody, I don't know what the hell is going on. There's a lot of feeling like, lack of love, lack of contentment, lack of peace and harmony. It's like discord. You guys, maybe you're just going through a period of discord right now, like unknowing of the future. You know, I just, I have no, like this wheel's never going to spin for me. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like down in the dumps. You know what I mean? It's like, you're just, you're feeling like this cycle is never going to end. You know what I mean? When is this cycle going to end? When are, when are things going to look up for me? That that kind of attitude. I mean, that's what I feel. It feels like you're you're losing hope. You know, this and the thing is is you have the potential for happily ever after. Okay? Even though there's lack of hope over here, like you feel like things are not getting better, like there's no progress being made. What the hell? This has been going on for way too long. You know, I've been trying to create, and I'm, like when I say I, it means you, okay? I've been trying to create this positive outcome. I've been trying to create better things. But no matter what I do, they just keep falling apart, that kind of thing. You know, you've really been trying, but you're not loving yourself fully, okay? Despite as hard as you've been trying, and you've been trying to shed the old, and you've been trying to think positive, and you've been trying to create growth, and you've been trying to spin that wheel in your favor, you're not loving yourself with this 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 empress reversed. You're not, you're still not giving yourself the love that you need. You're not allowing yourself to grow, Okay, maybe you need to rest. Maybe you need the time to recuperate. Did you ever think of that? Did you ever think that maybe you just need downtime? Because, I mean, it feels like you need some, some kind of time to just realize that everything is happening at this pace for a reason. Even though it looks like things have just been, you, you really tried to manifest different positive things. And no matter what you do, they just keep falling apart. 
but uh, right around the corner is happily ever after. You notice it's right around the corner. It's right on the corner. Right around the corner is happiness, okay, and alignment. So this despair that you've been going through this period of time, and this week even, you're feeling like there's no forward movement. I mean, and that's okay. That's okay. I would. I'm. I. I think I need to tell you guys not to push it. Okay, don't push it. Let yourself take the time to heal, to recuperate, to rest, to replan, to to think that, you know, just let it happen. That's part of loving yourself. That's part of nurturing yourself. That's part of mothering yourself. And I think there's <coughs> a need. There's a need for you guys to be like mothered at this time. It's like you need somebody to take care of you for just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Nothing long term. It's like, you know, please just make this better like a mother would do, you know, but you need to you need to make yourself feel better. OK, and you can do that. You can do that. Let's let's clarify this. Uh, Empress reversed. Yeah, see, OK, so you need to give to yourself. You need to give to yourself. You know, if nobody else is giving to you, maybe it's time for you to give yourself a gift. Maybe you need to buy something for yourself. Maybe you just need to do something for yourself for a minute. Maybe, you know, that's what you need. It, it feels like you've been trying so hard to build security and stability within your life that you have forgotten to take care of yourself. And I think this week you're being asked to do something, to buy something to, for yourself that you've always been wanting, okay? Now, this can go many different ways. So let's, let's clarify this Ten of Cups in the future, this, this happiness that's coming. What is this Ten of Cups in the future? I think it's the end of difficulty, and, but I think it's not like this week, okay? So I don't want to make anybody think. Yeah, it's about summertime, okay? And I know you don't want to hear that, but I'm not going to tell you, like, <laughs> oh, this week is going to be great. I, I'm not going to do that. That's not reality, okay? The thing is, is happiness is coming. It is coming. So don't give up. Take this period of time to give to yourself, okay? Consider this, this downtime. A gift. Consider it a blessing. Consider it a gift. All right? It's really, I see that you guys have a new beginning, possibly with a relationship or a resurgence in a relationship or a renewal of a relationship or a new relationship about summertime. Okay? And I'm sorry that this isn't happening January 8th through January 14th, but I'm not going to pretend that it is. You have to take this week, this week, to allow yourself to work on you and realize that there's divine timing in everything. You know, it's January, February, March, April, May. Could be May. <coughs> Which I would consider almost summer, okay? Anywhere, anywhere from May to anywhere in the summer. But I feel, because this is for a bunch of different people, you know, I feel like right now it's not a period of creating um, the best right now, okay? Things happen in time. Things happen in time. And that's what I see. I see that right now you guys are at a stalemate because you're being called to give to yourself right now. Love yourself so that when you're, this relationship happens, when this happiness finally finally comes you're already over that hurdle okay and you know this isn't a, a love reading the next one's going to be a love reading but this definitely plays into part okay i mean i can't this this does this general does fall right into love i can see what's happening here is that you, you're you're there you're unstable in your job or wherever you're feeling unstable 
okay? You're feeling um, everything pl uh, fits right together like a puzzle, okay? Your love life, your work life, your home life, everything. It's all part of who you are, okay? So this is telling me that right now the cycles in your life they're they're all you know they're look at them all on the wheel I mean they're all there okay they're all coming together to bring you the ultimate happiness but this week is about um, there's hidden forces and you need to realize that there's something working in your favor take this week is about downtime okay it's about giving to yourself that's what it's about so that by summertime, you can have this ultimate happiness and shine again. Right now, you need to work on you. That's what I see. It's, a, it's time to, to heal. It's time to bring about your awareness. It's time to bring about your um, creativity. It's time for you to work on you. And I know I'm repeating myself, but that's what it is. This is a week of not resisting change, not trying to push the wheel, not, not trying to make things happen, letting the universe drive. And while you let the universe drive, you love yourself. Interesting. We're going to do a love reading next, but I'm going to get you one of these advice cards. I see if you're in a position, you're probably going to stay put or you're going to stay if you're unemployed or whatever the case is. If you are unemployed, you're going to stay unemployed this week. If you're employed, you're going to stay right where you are. You know what I mean? It just see, There's no forward movement in many cycles this week. There's no, like, not a lot of changes because it's time for you right now. This week is about you working on you. Fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today, as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home in, as well. This is about refreshment. This week is about refreshing your soul, rest and recuperation, giving to yourself. Stay tuned for your love reading.